Well, welcome back to Movie Trailer Reviews Podcast. This is your host, Chris. I got Phenom here on the line, and uh, we're back here to review Blockers. Three parents try to stop their daughter from having sex on prom night. It's directed by Kay Cannon, and it's written by Brian Keough and Jim Keough. Hmm. I do not know who they are. Were they behind? Did they write? No. Hmm. I'm trying to see what else they wrote and produced, and I don't see anything. There's basically blockers at their biggest thing. So, anyway, um, if you know I'm going to not see this film, I did. And uh, I'm going to tell you guys right now. The trailers for this film do not do it justice. It is... I think the trailers make it seem like... One is uh, they put a lot of focus on the parents. But I think they made it seem like the dude... It's more about... A mix of the daughters and maybe some of the maybe that some of the kids are their sons. It's all about the daughters, the three girls. That's what this film is. It is basically super bad or neighbors, the female, the teen teen girl version of it, but infinitely better. It it just this is. You could tell within the first five minutes of this film that it was directed by a woman because she it wasn't falling into the same pitfalls that most of these films do where they get a little they get a little problematic they they lean too heavily on the dick jokes. Um, don't get me wrong, there are definitely dick jokes in here. There's also a lot of vagina jokes. Uh, the the three girls are absolutely hilarious. I think it's Catherine Newton, uh, Geraldine Viswathan, and uh, Gideon Al- uh, Adelon. They're all great. So, uh, you be, and, and just the makeup of the group is already shows you that they got it. Because when the film started up, I was like, mm, I don't know how I feel about this. This feels like it's going to be like white teen girl movie. And I wasn't sure about it. But uh, they did a pretty good job. There's, there's the white girl. They have an, an, an Indian girl. And then the other white girl, but she's a lesbian. And uh, they make a, like, it's... And even the way that they, the three girls, it's like they're coming to, to their coming of age story with each of them. So you have Catherine who is actually has a boyfriend that she's actually in love with. And she's thinking about having sex. Uh, Geraldine, her father is played by John Cena. And we'll get into the parents in a bit. But she's actually more of a tomboy. And she agrees to go with it. But then, uh, 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 let's see. Uh, I'm using their actual, let me see, their actual character names uh uh kyla is, is the one that's gay and but she's she's in the closet but you tell right away that she's gay uh, because the way she's looking at one of the other characters oh and the girl she's in love with the station so it's actually super diverse um it's really really fucking funny and it it just works like it it it, it understands how to balance Look, I like the first Neighbors film, but it got really raunchy. You mm. know, they lean they lean heavy on the dick jokes, like, and he going back to that well, and it just it feels like it overdoes it. This film never does it; it never overstays his welcome with that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, it gets it it gets kind of crazy there, but it's also just even the parents. So you have the parents are obviously John Cena is one of the parents. Uh, who are the other two? Uh, Leslie Mann and then Ike uh, Baron Holtz and each of the parents are also kind of interesting archetypes like Leslie Mann plays a single mom the overprotective single mom who doesn't want her daughter to, to make the same mistakes she made and like get pregnant early and you know and follow a man around things like that she like down to the part she her daughter's basically her best friend and she wants her daughter to go to a college near her, not across the country in UCLA. John Cena plays an interesting character because his daughter is a tomboy and he is definitely like the, the coach dad, the, 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 the sports dad. But he's also like the stay at home, like super like soft <laughs> and, and sensitive, like home dad. <laughs> And it's fucking hilarious. Like, you would think that John Cena would be the one, like, he would actually beat people up and things like that. He does not do that in this film. He actually, like, doesn't want to have violence, and he doesn't want to break the laws. Like, he is actually, uh, it's actually pretty fucking hilarious. His wife, who's 
it was Indian. I can't remember what is her name. Is it Rom- Romana Young? I think that's her. <laughs> no, no, that's the um, that's the uh, lesbian love interest. I can't remember who her who his wife is, but uh, she's actually like you can again they don't go into detail, but you can say she basically wears the pants of the family. At one point, actually, that's right. He's actually she was like. Do you, who wears the pants in your family? She comes down the stage. She's like, I do. <laughs> and it's actually pretty fucking hilarious. And then Ike plays Hunter, who is no, he used to, all the parents used to be friends. He cheated on his wife <laughs> and got kicked out of the house. And he's also a little bit of alcoholic. So he kind of shows up at the last, you know, at, 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 at the, um, the prom celebration. But his, uh, his wife has moved on to marry somebody named Frank, who is actually, um, uh, how do I want to? It's it's uh uh um what's his name? Ah, uh, shit! What the hell? What, what the hell did I do? Anyway, I, I won't spoil that. It, it's it's pretty funny when you see it. Um, yeah, I feel like me and Ashley might have to go check this one out. No, it's 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 a really fun and funny film. Like, because the the parents, so so the weird thing is, so Ike is the parent that you would think would be the problematic dad, because he's the one that cheated on his wife and things like that, but he's the one that's actually trying to stop the other two parents from ruining their daughter's prom night. He's like, don't do this. Let them. They're they're going to be adults soon. Let them go and have their fun. You're, what you're doing right now is an invasion of the privacy. Even the way they find out that their their, their daughters are having this. Uh, Sex pack is fucking hilarious. And he's actually, he knows his daughter's gay. He was like, why are you, they're like, why are you not worried that your, your daughter is going to, you know, sleep with Connor? He's like, Connor, she's not going to, she's not going to sleep with him. She's like, how do you know? There's like, she's gay. He's like, how do you, wait, what? nobody knows your daughter's gay. He was like, oh, I could tell. And so like, he, like, they, he knows his daughter's gay and his whole thing is going around making sure that, uh, one to try to stop the other, um, Parents from ruining the night, but also when he thinks that his daughter might tr- end up trying to sleep with the dude to fit in, he's he wants to stop her from that because he's like, I know she's I know she's gay. I know that's not that's going to ruin her life. That's just going to make her more confused. So it's it's actually pretty funny seeing these parents be fuck ups and go around while the daughters are actually having their best time of their life, and um. John Cena's daughter, she's the one. She's the funniest one. Like, she is. She's gonna be a fucking star. I don't know what other films she's been in. They're really trying to make it seem like Cena is carrying this film with his comedic tropes, and I just didn't. That that's that's probably been my biggest turnoff from wanting to go see this. I don't believe that he can be that fucking funny to carry a whole film. No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. He's not. No, yeah, I like, know. His... That, like, and when you told me that it's his daughter, that's actually the funny one. Like, that's when I was like, okay, that makes way more sense than what they're trying to sell me. Because I don't even no, remember he's... what his daughter looks like from the trailers. No, she's 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 like she's she's Indian because his wife's Indian. So she like, again, they, the trailers for this film do the film a disservice because they're like there's a scene. So there's a scene in the trailer where you see. They're like when when uh, I think it's uh, Leslie Mann's character is making a joke about when you, you know parents since the trouble with their daughter they get super human strength and you see John Cena like literally like catch Ike and like th- that's just not even in the fucking movie it's not they cut that shit scene out it's not there like when I say that John Cena is not trying to be funny he is the straight lace one he it doesn't try to like he he's funny because he gets put into situations where he has to be in things that make him uncomfortable. Like there is a scene where they have to break into somebody's house. It's another kid's parents and they're those parents are very they they're playing sex they're playing a sex game. And John Cena's character has to go in there to to get something out of their home mm-hmm. and it's fucking hilarious because he doesn't want to do it and he's a giant pushover. Like at one point I was like, "Yo, you're going to give us his phone or uh, Mitchell over here is gonna beat your head in. Mitchell, he's like, uh, no, no, I'm not. That's actually wrong. That is, that's illegal. We can't do that. That's why are you threatening that guy? Like, John Cena is fucking hilarious because he's playing it straight. He's. Did you see Jumanji? 
No, I still haven't seen it yet. Ah, uh, he he reminds me of like with the Rock did in Jumanji, where like the Rock is playing. He's the Rock. He looks like the Rock, but he's playing a nerd. <laughs> like mm-hmm. the character he is is a nerd. That's what Cena is in this film. Um, again, the kids, the, the 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 three daughters, are are the funny ones in it, and the way that they the way that they talk to each other, the way they're doing things. Again, um, uh, Geraldine is the star of that one to me, uh, Kyla, and um, yeah, it's um, yeah, it's it's fucking hilarious. I think you guys, I think you would. I think anybody who goes to see this would enjoy it, and I, and it's basically a story about you know as a parent you gotta let your you gotta let your you gotta let your kids go you gotta let your kids find their own way and and and, and be their own people. It's actually a pretty more progressive it, it's more progressive comedy than anything else because of the messaging up behind it. Like there are things they they avoided in here that I think that any other film hasn't got around. None of the, the the boys who are who are with these girls do anything problematic or, or overly pushy. You never get the feeling of like if a girl says she doesn't want to have sex, you never get the, the the idea of the dude like pushing them to to do it or anything like that. Like it's it's a very very smart comedy that I think that the raunchy topic and the name basically blockers meaning cock blockers doesn't make you think that. And I, and I don't think that the trailers may, did it any favors either. It's actually really, really fucking good. Like it's see, I kind of wish they would have relied on the kids and they don't the in the trailer yeah. specifically to sell this film. Then again, showing Cena being a big goofy comedic character. Yeah. I just, you know, like, Oh, the worried dad. Oh, I'm a worried dad. And I have muscles. Look at me. I can lift the whole bench. And I, I'm just like, I, I think they, I think they I did it because you sell, you're not selling me on this. I think they did the parents because of the names. Those are the people people will see and recognize. And that'll, I guess they think will sell the film. But like, I think what works best are the kids. I mean, they're little things. Shouldn't they be selling this film to 13 year old girls. Though? No, like, no. Cause this is a R rated film. Uh, no, okay. no, no, this Okay, listen. Well, then they should be selling it to college kids. Yeah, this is definitely this is like I said, this is neighbors. This is this is neighbors was or super bad. Super bad was R rated too, I believe. This is super bad because these are these are high school girls on their prom night, and yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> there's language, there's violence. Uh, there is definitely full front of nudity in this film, uh, male nudity <laughs> in this film, <laughs> and it um it gets raunchy at sometimes. So yeah, no, this is definitely not aimed at at the young girls. It is definitely for adults. It is it is definitely R rated, and they definitely push that in some some cases. But when it comes to the story, it's actually very very smart, and um, I think that's what surprised me. So, hmm. yeah, yeah, like I said, it's uh, it's pretty fucking enjoyable, and it's not something I say. And I and I think it being directed by a woman helped that because I think it. It 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 treats because it's a serious thing, right? You have three young girls who are gonna who are making a pact to lose their virginity. One of them who is in the closet, she's gay, and so she decides she wants to make a pact. She's gonna join the pact with these other two, her other two best friends. All three girls are best friends because she doesn't want to lose them. So she, you have a, you have a girl who's in the closet who might end up having a sex with a a a boy, and. That'll be that 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 could have gone all kinds of horrible ways, right? Mm-hmm. But they handle all of it pretty smartly, and in the end, when the parents end up having conversations with their kids, it's they're actually pretty genuine and good conversations. Like it's 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 done really really well. Cool. So I'd say definitely check it out. It. Yeah, I, I definitely say. Yeah, it, to me it's an eight and a half. It's an eight and a half out of ten. Um, I was not a like I said. I only went and checked this out because I knew it was getting a high score on 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 in reviews and i'm glad i did like it it was something that was definitely worth checking out and i i think you and ashley would definitely enjoy this one so definitely yeah. check it out so anyway folks that is it that is the review for blockers uh you can find the rest of the reviews on movie trailer reviews uh well you can actually go to movie trailer reviews uh movie trailer reviews on itunes Stitcher radio google play music uh go to mtrnetwork.net to get uh it on the website and um 
We'll be back next week for Rampage. So, again, folks, thank you guys very much for listening. Until next time, we're out of here. Peace. Peace.